Hey guys, it's me Karthik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to perform the get operation using Python. And once we get the response in the JSON format, we'll see how we can pass it. So uh, for this example, let me sh uh, so you could see this is my call and I'm getting the JSON response something like this. Okay, this much big response I'm getting and I am passing one of the few fields I'm displaying on the console. So let me run this then we'll see how we can implement this from the scratch now you could see we got the data right so to implement this first let me take a new python file let me give something like json passing as an example then uh, here import request because we are performing the request uh, here so api call for that i am using the request api here okay so once you do that here we have request dot get operation and you give the url you wanted so as of now for this example i am giving this one because i am getting this much big response so let me give that here request then uh, this one i am trying to put it into the uh, let me give something like a rvq then in my previous video we have seen how we can get the status code something like this okay now here i knew that the response is in json format so i have taken something like this and response okay then let me try to print this onto the console I have the response so let me execute this you could see we got this response right so this is a response I have let me show you here okay so this is in a uh, I have used a beautifier so that I will show you the in a proper understandable manner okay so if you observe this JSON here this json is starting with this this symbol this you know bracket that is called json away ending it here okay and there were a couple of json arrays in this so this is also a json array why because it is starting with this brace okay so in this case what you need to do is first from this response object we need to use the json right so let me import the json here once it is imported use something like json dot load of response you got this response right something called uh, data response i'll take okay and as i said my response is starting with json away away means it will have multiple elements so you it will store it index format so in order to loop through it what you need to do you need to iterate it so i'm using the for loop in this case so let me take something like for uh, item in data response now i have this fields i can directly use it this is a json array again because it is starting with this one but these fields are directly available here so what i will do is simply i'll print it onto the console print item of what is the name name is message so i have taken that same likewise you take item of what is that uh, status status cool so let me try to execute this and see the response okay there is some issue what is that issue read property json dot load of response request json something called okay 
json dot load of response this is correct only okay in data response item of message I'm using this one and I'm using this one status why I'm not getting the big deal data response json dot load response if I print like this I'll let me see here print data response let me implement this afterwards run this okay there is something to do with here only okay so request dot json i have what i have json dot uh shall i use loads response One second, response. You don't need this one. Okay, okay. I don't need. I don't need this method. First of all, this is I am getting in response, right? So there is no. Actually, this loads is for the string. I believe. I don't need this. Okay. So guys, once we get the response in JSON format like this, what we can do is simply use for uh, item in response. Simply use this one print of as we know these are the fields, right? So I am using message here. Uh, so item of message print item of status okay let me run this you could see we got it right next coming to this object this is again a json array right so simply what i'll do is uh, post office something like that i'll take and here item of put this here then since it is json away what i'll do is again i'll use a for loop here so um, p details in post office here simply use p details of of you can use all these fields again name let me use something like this p details of let me use district and pin code this is a very very powerful method guys very powerful p details of pin code now let me try to execute this now you could see we got all the details right so this is a small video and how to perform the json passing using python i hope this is informative for you guys if you found it informative please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you